Give thanks for life. Miss Owenless, this one is for you again, man. You see that speech you make in Parliament saying that you're paying tribute to Miss Curtis? That is rubbish. The first thing you need to do is apologize for your wrongs, man. You cannot fight right with might. What goes around comes around. Karma is real. You got to believe this. My privilege and indeed my duty to acknowledge Miss Valerie Curtis for her long and dedicated service to this Parliament. This journey began when she joined as a staff member of the Parliament Assistant Clerk in 1995 and continued to work her way to being appointed Deputy Clerk in 2006. Her commitment to duty saw her being elevated to the position of Clerk in the Houses in 2021. And since that time, she has commendably led her staff in providing the necessary procedural and administrative support to the members of both houses. During her time at Parliament, Ms. Curtis displayed a commitment to upholding parliamentary ideals, even as she displayed a people-centered approach to parliamentary administration while overseeing several initiatives aimed at improving parliamentary operations. Throughout her tenure, she represented Jamaica at parliamentary conferences across the globe and was integral to the staging of international parliamentary conferences here in Jamaica, as well as hosting a myriad of visiting international delegations to the parliament. Ms. Curtis has been recognized by the government of Jamaica for her contribution to the parliament through the conferment of the Badge of Honor for Meritorious Service, as well as the Order of Distinction in the rank of Commander Class in, 2020, in 2014 and 2020, respectively. Our differences in perspectives on a particular administrative matter and the resulting procedural communication to her, which was never placed on our HR record, but which has unfortunately been circulated in the public domain, was never intended to distract from her years of service and valuable contribution to the Parliament. Therefore, it is important for me to state that I continue to hold the retired clerk in high regard and acknowledge her contribution and not allow that to be overshadowed for any reason. The former clerk, has left an indelible mark on the Parliament, and it is our hope that she will enjoy her well-deserved retirement. Closing out for now, this is One Avenue News. Avenue for your news, views, reviews, and much more. New spot on the block where we chat. Looking forward to meet you in the comment section. So flick the subscription button, turn on notification bell. Let's journey together. And please remember, we need solution, not confusion. United we win my people, art of love.